Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the amp lock kingpin lock for fifth wheel trailers. So this coupler lock again is going to be a great option for some of those people who either leave their trailer at the campgrounds permanently or they head into town frequently with their tow vehicle leaving their trailer unattended. You could also have your trailer parked at the house and you still just don't feel comfortable when you're away at work or if you leave town. This coupler lock here is gonna keep your trailer nice and secure. You don't have to have any worry about someone taking off with it. So this is what our trailer coupler lock looks like installed. As you can see here, it's very, it's very beefy, heavy duty design. It's actually made out of cast iron, so you know it's gonna be super durable as well. Everything has a nice powder coated finish, sort of this gray hammered finish, so it's gonna do a great job of protecting the lock from rust and corrosion being that it is again installed on the outside here of our trailer subjected to the elements. So if you haven't heard of Amplock before, they make some phenomenal products. In fact, their coupler locks are widely regarded as some of the best locking options on the market. And that's because they're pretty much bulletproof. There's pretty much no way that you're gonna be able to get this coupler lock off the trailer without your key. You can't pry it off, you can't cut it off, you can't freeze it off, and you won't be able to pick the lock core due to the tumbler design. So granted, we don't wanna damage the trailer, so we're not gonna be doing any extreme measures, but just again, to show you guys how bulletproof this lock is, we've got a fairly large pry bar here, and if we sneak it below the skid plate here and above the trailer lock, and we really pry on that thing, you can see it is not going anywhere. In fact, I would probably break this pry bar before the lock broke. So our pry bar didn't work. Let's go ahead and try a hammer now. So if we take a closer look, obviously the lock is still intact and on our trailer, but even where I was hitting this cast iron here with our hammer, it really didn't damage the finish too much. There's a couple marks here, but most of it is still intact. So we didn't have any luck with the hammer as well. So that's two out of three that won't work. Let's go ahead and try to pick the lock. Now, even for an experienced locksmith, they're not gonna be able to pick this lock with their picking tools. I am by no means an experienced locksmith, but just to give you a representation with a standard pick here, you won't be able to free the lock from the coupler. We touched on this a little bit earlier, but due to the tumbler design of the keys, these keys are actually very, very hard to replicate. Now, I do wanna point out that if you lose them, you can obtain replacements from the manufacturer. Just make sure you keep your blank here that has your key code. But again, you won't be able to remove this lock by picking it either. So something else you'll be glad to know. So with our lock core here, we don't actually have to have our key to lock this on the trailer. Granted, we have to have the key to unlock it, obviously. But as you can see here, we don't have the key inserted. We'll place it in position, and all we do is just press in on that lock core there, and our lock is engaged. So just another added feature here, you don't actually have to have the keys to lock it on the trailer. So in regards to compatibility, this trailer coupler lock here is gonna work with most fifth wheel kingpin pin boxes. There are a few that don't, and that's gonna be the sidewinder options from Reese. There is actually a separate lock for this exact purpose. But most of these standard pin boxes that come on your RV from the manufacturer are gonna work great here with this coupler lock. So our coupler lock here, you can see it's pretty bulletproof but if anything were to happen, you would be covered by a five-year warranty. The manufacturer does, however, recommend a quarterly maintenance, but all this entails is simply using a lubricant to lubricate the internal locking mechanism. So to start off our installation today, we're gonna to be uncoupling the trailer from the tow vehicle, making sure we're on a nice flat and level surface. Then we're gonna level the trailer with our landing gear. And once we've done that, we're ready to install our coupler lock. We're going to rotate the included cap out and away from the lock core. Then we're gonna take the keys that come with our lock. We're gonna insert them into the core and then we're gonna rotate them clockwise and then pull out. We'll rotate them back again so we can remove the key. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line up the, key, the kingpin with the opening inside our lock here. And then we're gonna push all the way up until it's flat against the bottom flange on the hitch. Now what we can do is simply push in the lock core. Now, 
we're going to rotate the cap down to lock it in place. As you can see here, our lock is secure on the coupler of the kingpin. Now we'll take our keys here, we'll put them in the vehicle or a safe place to where we don't lose them. And then when we're ready to tow, we'll simply open up the little dust cap here. We'll reinsert our key, make sure you have a good hand on the coupler lock here. And then we'll go ahead and rotate the keys, pull the lock core out, and then we can drop the lock down and out of position. Now we're ready to tow. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Amplop Kingpin Lock for fifth wheel trailers.